We want to see what tools mPanel and mPanel FEA can offer to help with understanding the flow of water from a tensile surface. We'll use this simple high path. mPanel, of course, is not a structural analysis tool, and so it can only look at the uh, situation where at where as the model is as the structure is built, not under any uh, deflected shape. However, with mPanel, we can look at one of the model visualization tools to look at the mesh gradient. It is helpful to turn the uh, old mesh into a dark color. And with the mesh gradient, what we get plotted from each of these um, intersections on the mesh, we get the direction that a drop of water would take on the surface, that is the line of greatest gradient. And the line is color coded to indicate the uh, steepness of the slope, with blue being almost no slope, and red being uh, a slope of one in one. So it, this shows us that the central area of this mesh has got almost no slope to it. However, a raindrop here will move in that direction, a raindrop here will move in that direction, so it is just, just okay as a, as a flat surface in the middle of the mesh, it'll just shed water in the undeflected shape. To get more information, we have to use mPanel FEA. And with mPanel FEA, we can of course read the model in, and we can solve for different load cases, and one of the first load cases we would solve for would be load case zero. And with load case zero, um, we would then plot out a set of gray uh, the the gradient of the mesh. And we plot that out, of course, for load case zero, and that's going to be essentially the same information as shown in the um, M panel model, presented in a different format. And in the format in the FEA, the uh, the gradient is is uh, described by the coloring against this graph and the flow of the water is shown from the center of the circle outwards and so we can see quite clearly that uh, water which is in the center here um, will flow slowly outwards and then more steeply and then more steeply and more steeply as it goes towards the edge. This is as I say the same information as we have uh, from M panel, but it is more clearly presented and easier to understand. And with the FEA, we can of course look at a loaded condition. And if I look at a loaded condition here for load case one, which has a snow load, if I plot the results now for load case one, so I'll change to load case one and plot the data. see now a different looking plot where there is just the beginnings of some problems in that the, the water can flow down to here and in this central reason, region there isn't really a clear um, direction for the water to go into and in fact I could draw a uh, polyline around the places where the water is definitely going inwards and you can see there that there's a clear region where all the way around on this perimeter the water is, is definitely going inwards, it may be going inwards a little further out here and here and that represents a region where the water um, flowing inwards has got nowhere to flow out 
and typically that will cause the membrane to deflect locally downwards and in general will make the situation worse which of course is, is called ponding. The exact point at which that occurs is somewhat of a matter of interpretation. Um, it is if we go to a, another load case with, with a higher um, loading on it so that here I'm plotting out again the gradient for, for load case 2 which has a, uh, a higher snow loading on it we can see that with higher loading it becomes very obvious that, uh, that the large part of the structure is uh, all, all the rain drops are pointing inwards and that there will be an accumulation of water just here but at the at the points where it's just starting to happen it is a little more difficult to uh, identify that exact point.